Hey there, in today's video I'm going to be printing these two images, my logo, and pressing them onto a pair of vans, black vans. I'm going to be using Caesar Easy Subly for this process, so let's get started. So right now what I'm trying to figure out is what size I want my logo to be on my shoe. I don't want it to be too big, I don't want it to be too small. It's a good form of advertisement or advertising, if you ask me. You don't have to put your phone number if you don't want to, you can. Um, I thought about putting them on the back part of uh, my heel, the heel part of the shoe. But I think if I just do my logo, since it's bright and yellow, any logo, doesn't matter, you'll still get attention. You know, someone might ask you, what is it, or, you know, you know, what do you do? That's your opportunity to say, this is what I do. You know, press on shoes, press on what have you. That's a good way to get yourself out there. You know, get attention with your shoes. It's a form of advertisement. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put this, press these onto my pair of vans. I'm not sure if I'm going to include the other pair just yet, but I do have two pairs that I want to work on. Um, the... The size that I think I decided on is going to be oh, two and a half, almost two and a half inches. And um, again, I don't know if I mentioned it, I'm going to be using Caesar Easy Subly for this process. And I'm not going to use my regular press because one, I don't want to melt my shoe. Two, it's too much energy being used um, for something that's, that, uh, the price is not made for for shoes. I mean, you can. I can't put my hand up against <clears throat> on the top section. But I have another method that I want to show you that I want to share with you. So right now, the size that I'm going to go by, the paper size is 3.5 by 9.5. I'm going to go ahead and print it. I already have, uh, let's see in a minute. <clears throat> I already have Caesar Easy or Caesar turned on. For those of you that have uh, Microsoft, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Microsoft 10, just click on this little guy, sorry, click on the arrow, right click on the VPM, go to options, go to addition, and Caesar's already checked. And if you don't have this option, I have a video um, on how to how to download, how to add this uh, Caesar option, the easy subly option. It's just going to say Caesar. I, I do, I do go step by step on how to, how to add that. I'm just going to go ahead and just print, print these two. And I'm not sure why I did that. Layout. I'm just going to click on standard mug. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick the paper in there and go from there. I mentioned in my videos a few times, well, maybe several, that I, uh, I always uh, stick small pieces in my printer, uh, the XJ-800. Here's the uh, plug size paper. And it comes with a little... Uh, I don't know what to call it. I uh, guess cardboard, cardboard type. Uh, I don't know insert. Anyway, there's usually one on top, one on bottom, just to protect it. I use that to measure my paper. These are easy. Subly, the shiny side goes up. The print size at the bottom. Go ahead and print my two images, my logo. Give me one sec. Remember, do not mirror Caesar Easy Subly. Okay, I decided to make them just a tad smaller just so that I can fit it on a four inch mug paper. I'm actually going to use, instead of the three and a half inches I have on the screen, I'm going to do four inches. So I shrunk it so I could 
Tilt it sideways and you'll see in a minute. Very small. Okay, so it's not mirrored. I'm gonna have to let it sit and dry for a little bit, or you can put it under the uh, the uh, your heat press for about a minute. It's really dry. So we're gonna go downstairs now. So here are my pair of bands uh, that I'm gonna be pressing my two logos on. These two, and it shouldn't, it should be perfect size. They're dry, very dry. So that's what I'm gonna be pressing. Real quick, I want each to a lint roll. These are used, they're not brand new. I haven't worn them in a while. That should be okay. Give me one sec. Okay, so again, I'm using Caesar Easy Subly, and I'm going to be using my little new little gadget, the Petite Press. This little guy goes up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. It needs to be 311 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to do it for 15 seconds. So 311, it's going to be setting number 3. I already have it on, on number 3. I'm going to go ahead and grab my logos. That looks good. I'm going to grab a piece of parchment paper and just lay it over it. I put something on the inside just to keep, uh, keep it from sinking. For, but for now, I'm just going to use my hand. So I'm going to do this for about, I don't know, 30 seconds. You want to be careful too because the heat does transfer. It's best to put something underneath. I feel the heat. It's pretty hot. Make sure that you stay on the parchment paper. As long as you have it hot and you keep it a little longer than the recommended time, you should be okay. Okay, there's no lifting. So you'll see that uh, the final is brighter than left it's a lot brighter let me bring it in closer it's a lot brighter and that's normal it always looks faded before you uh, apply it to your substrate so let me go ahead and do the other one so I can finish up here and show you the end results I'm gonna do the same thing to the other shoe shove something shove a shirt in there it's a good idea to throw stick some socks in there I want to make sure it looks even. Okay. I am putting applying pressure. Again, I don't have a timer. It's 
supposed to be 15 seconds, but I'm adding, I'm just doing about 30 seconds. I think it's been longer than that. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's on there. So anyway, we're done here. So let me show you the, I'm gonna turn this off. I love this little gadget. Let's do a close-up. And again, this is a good form of advertisement. I do plan on wearing these. And this, again, is Caesar Easy Subly. And it's 311 degrees, 15 seconds normally. But because I didn't have a pair of, shoes, uh, pair of socks to stick inside my shoes, which would have helped, I did about 30 seconds on each one. I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time.